Hi everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, last time we made it to into the Gabadia area, and as you can see over there, there's a building. But we're not going to go straight to that building yet. I want to show off some monsters in this area. The monsters in this area are a little bit harder than what we previously fought. But one monster is actually very useful because. It helps us make a weapon, and actually, that is it. The, um, thing on the ground is the geezer, which we've seen, which gives us screws, as we know. But the thing flying, uh, that I'm hitting, and I'm not meaning to, is actually called Bell Hamel. They drop something called a saw blade, and, um, the saw blade actually makes Noah's weapon. Uh, her third level weapon, actually. Um, usually, if you have sure feathers and nails, you can make a weapon called the, um, the Valkyrie. But, it's strong, but the, uh, one you can get at that is called the Rising Sun, and you can skip the Valkyrie and go directly to the Rising Sun if you get a Soul Blade. Now, one way to get it is just by killing it over and over and over until it drops one, or carding it. Carding it will give you a Soul Blade. I believe that's what they turn into. Um, I'm almost positive that's what they turn into, actually. So, that's one thing you can do. You know, you can card it, you can... Or you can, um, you know, just kill it until it drops something. You can also fight the, uh, Thrust Avis here. I'm trying to get that name right. Uh, if you want. You know, they're not terribly strong. Uh, you can card it to make, I believe, a sheer feather. Um, might be wrong about that, but I think that's what they turn into. And they're decent cards, you know. Um,. We're probably not going to be fighting any in the building. Uh, there's only really a few places that I need to fight uh, fight card battles. Um, one is in Dalit, which I'll be showing uh, probably in the next video. And the other is later. And why am I hitting that? I meant to <laughs> I mean to hit the geese, or I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I've been thinking about, um, uh, also, but the Bilhamels have Berserk and, uh, Thundera. Which. You can actually, uh, draw, or at least know it could. Yeah. Cause we used them there quite a bit, I think, last couple of videos. Hopefully I'm, I'm trying to uh, card this one just so we are sure to have a, uh, a, um, saw blade. It only takes one. Also, yeah, the humble is furious. This happens um, after they've sustained uh, a number of damage, and then the face changes, and I believe that ups their attack. Um, it doesn't change the magic that you draw. It's probably basically it's like their berserk status. They don't cast magic when they're furious, and they can actually go from furious to um furious to happy. And we got two saw blades there. Good, good. So we have three of them. I don't think they become any kind of tool. Um, I think we can check. No, but the uh, healing water becomes two uh, when we find in two tens. That's 
That's good. Um, actually. Oh! Cool, we got the Magic Find. I forgot we got that. So, Mid Magic Find. What that does is it takes second level spell, first level spells, and it will change them into second level spells. So here we become Hira, Fire become Fira, Blizz will become Blizzard, etc. and so on. So, we only have 85 Hira, so, um, 1 will give me 185, 2 will give me 90, 3 will give me, um, 3 will give me 88, 4 will give me 8, and just, you know, 15 from Cure will give me 100, we have 25 Cure. We're higher level now. Cure is actually going to help us out a lot more than, um, than Cure is going to. So, if you want to go in and turn from Cure into Cure's, you know, do that. It's not going to make that much of a difference. You don't have enough Thunderas? Turn your Thunder into Thunderas. Uh, same for Blizzard, you know, if you don't have enough Blizzards, Bizarre's turn some Blizzards into that. Into that. It's not going to be that big of a difference, to tell you the truth. It really isn't, but we've got, and maybe we're using has a hundred level, us of uh, mid-level spells right now, um, yeah, but, yeah, Bell turns into one saw blade, when we find into one saw blade, uh, Cockatrice gives you a Cockatrice pinion, I don't even remember right off here what that does, um, when he goes, turn into steel arm, bombs, turn into bob, fabrics. Uh, Thornberry turns into a shield knife, and the Savis's turn into shield petals. t you need two, and they will turn into Dino Bone, which you can use to upgrade, um, Squall's weapon and somebody else's weapon. Uh, you need Dino Bone for both those, so if you... When you go back to Blama, because you will be heading back there at one point and you want to spend some time fighting some few Xors, it's probably a good idea. Um, the life magic. The, uh, healing model will also be fined into 20 Kiras and Soul Blades we bind into 10 deaths. So, once you use a Soul Blade and you want to give somebody the death spells, um, go for it. The death spells do not work on, um, on boss enemies. Uh, weak enemies, it's almost for certain. Um, but they will not work on boss enemies. This does not work. Uh, but on weak enemies, it almost always works. It will cause, uh, I believe instant death. Um, Doom, which is a spell you will get eventually, um, that I believe, believe, uh, cast a slow death status, this is a counter, kind of like, slow petrify is, so, yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you know, there is one more, um, enemy here that I wanna try and find for you guys, uh, it's one of my least favorite enemies, just cause it's tedious, it, it's not necessarily strong, it's just tedious. And that's what it is. It's called a Blood Soul. Um, I might as well just cast Scan so you guys can see the, uh, stats of it. So, and I'll go ahead and draw... Ooh, we can get Float, float. We can get float from the blood, blood Soul as well. Um, Blood Soul floats with gas that fills this body. It looks weak, but its status changing attacks may prove otherwise. This very against Holy. It's weak against fire. It's strong against poison. And its HP is just over a thousand. So it's not strong. We can actually kill it fairly simply, actually. But you might want to kind of draw some floats from it. Floats will come in very handy. Uh, actually, quite soon. Uh, they really help out with any other that we're going to. Um. So, you want to keep that in mind. So, yeah, it causes silence. Silence can be cured with Isuna, just like anything else. 
Um, when silence is cast, uh, basically all you can do is attack. So I'm supposed to sleep, of course. <laughs> so we're gonna have, uh, we know, uh, it can also put you to sleep, which is annoying. Uh, because we don't really have any defense against sleep. So it's being a little bit, uh, cheeky right now. I don't have any magic equipped to score right now because I opted to go for cards so I could card some of these uh, monsters here. Remember that magic attacks will not wake up sleeping enemies. Only physical attacks will. So that's good to keep in mind and Sophie has a sleep attack junction to her weapon. So she will almost always cause sleep when she hits the, hits the enemy. As you see, she hit it there and it did not wake up. Now, Melanel isn't really uh, something you need to worry about right now. Cool. Uh, we got a bandy card there. Um, I don't remember what a bandy is. We'll check it out, though. And so he finally woke up, uh, Minerva finally woke up, which is nice. <laughs> and she's going to Isuna Selfie. Because <clears throat> I like Selfie to have her magic available, even if uh, I don't use it all that much. Yay! So, um, so if he's still silenced, did I kill the silence? We'll figure it out. Um, let's go into card here and find abandon. Abandon. There we go. Okay. Uh, I thought that's what that was. Um, you can get the, get them from the abyss form too. Uh, it's. A monster we will not see for a very long time. Um, it's actually a pretty strong card. It has eight. I believe that's the highest for A. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the highest for A. So it's a card that's nice to get if you can get it. Um, you know, uh, another strong one is a T-Rex or Dunbury's actually pretty weak. Uh, the save is kind of weak. Belhamel, um, mid. Bull is, has one side that's pretty strong. So if you're going to do the card game, uh, you know, having card on Squirrel once you have unlocked it, uh, is a good idea. Um, let's see. What will cure it that I have? Not the antidotes. We don't have any echo screens. I think she's silenced. Um. Oops. Yeah, she's still silenced. That's real because I could have sworn I uh, hit her with Isuna. That's okay. We'll just do it this way. Maybe really I hit her myself and I didn't realize. <laughs> That's probably what happens. I hit myself and I didn't realize it. <laughs> I tried for more. Okay, so that's really all the monsters that are in this area right now. So once you've, you know, fought the monsters out here and you're comfortable with what you fought and you've got all the cards you want, you can head into the um, structure that's kind of in the middle of the place. It's, um, that's kind of interesting. So we're just going to end up there. <clears throat> Flying things. They look kind of interesting. They look like they'd be fun. They kind of remind me of something I saw on YouTube not too long ago. Uh, this guy with a parachute and kind of a helicopter blade on his back. I'm not sure what they called it. 
Um, so you can talk to these people, uh, which cat are you from? You sure look like a student from Galbadia Garden. Nah, uh, this guy just goes up and flies off again. I actually like the outfits from here a lot better than the ones from, from, uh, Balaam, uh, In my opinion, uh, they look sleeker. I don't like the yellow. Um, I do like the burgundy, uh, tie. Wow, completely different. Sure is quiet. I like it. <clears throat> Could you leave this one up to me? I've been here several times and then the head and wrestle pretty well. I'm going to explain the situation. So, uh, you can walk in, uh, and you actually do want to explore here because you will be running here later, and it's a good idea to get to know the place. Attention, C40 from Maylam gone, please head to the second floor, uh, um, room. So, uh, the idea to save your game. So it's a good idea to save your game. I'm gonna have a... Uh, yeah. Uh, two saves there. So, they want us to head um, upstairs. Each area leads into a different uh, place and I will be exploring that uh, probably in the next video. So the, so you just walk in the stall here and you just walk sales and then you want, this is really where you go. So it's not hard to find. Just walk in. And we have a cutscene. Well, not really a cutscene, more of a you know, they talk. So you can talk to me here. How long are they gonna make us wait? And he comes out and puts his walk slide in. How'd it go? They understand the situation. And Balaam Garn is safe. The attack on President Timbal was classified as an independent action. There was an official notice from the Galvanian government saying that Balaam Garn is not being held responsible. So, Cypher's taking on blame. The trial is over, and the sentence has been carried out. He was executed? Of course he was. He attacked the president. He sacrificed himself for the forest owls. It was your group that got Cypher involved in all this. Your resistance fashion, right? You must have been prepared for the worst. I'm sure Cypher was prepared to. So don't think of it as Cypher sacrificing himself for you. I'm sorry. I guess that wasn't much consolation. So you're gonna walk around and talk to everybody. I didn't like the guy, but executed? You really hate Cypher, didn't you, Zell? Yeah, but... He was from Gordon. He was one of us. If I can, I'm going to get revenge. I don't have any good memories of him. I've seen some little children, but he was beyond troubled. Well, well he, he really wasn't, wasn't that. He, he wasn't, wasn't really a bad, bad guy. guy. I really, really liked, liked him. him. He was, he was always full of confidence, smart. smart. Just start talking, talking to him. I feel like he'd take on the world. Your boyfriend? I don't really know. I... I, I think, think he was in love. I wonder how he felt. Do you still like him? If I didn't, I wouldn't be talking about it. It was last summer. 
I was 16. Lots of fun memories. I liked, I liked him. him. Was, was a really bad guy. guy. He, he was, was one of us. us. Sorry for you to just a memory. Will they... Will they, they talk for me that, that way if I had you? School is this and that. You can have sense. Say whatever they, they want. So this, this is what this is all about. You just walk, um... Passively. Not me. I won't have it. What's wrong, Squall? I won't have it. What? Are you mad? I'm not having you talk about me in past tense. So Squall's apparently having a hard time coming to terms with Cypher's dad. I think. For him, it's a little bit scary. Um, he doesn't really want to understand that in a way that, you know, he's a soldier, basically. He has to be prepared for this, but he's still, you know, still kind of a kid. You know, he's only, I think it, I think it says uh, 18 in the guide. Um, so he's still really just a kid. I mean, when you're 18, yeah, you're old enough to vote, but you still are seen as a kid by everybody else who's reached 21, 25, you know, I'm in my 30s, I'm about to turn, come in my mid-30s, and at times, I still get treated like I'm a kid, uh, but, you know, when I hear somebody say they're 20 or uh, 19, I'm like, wow, you're, you're still a baby, you know, to me, because they're younger, and I think everybody feels that way at some point. Um, <laughs> I have my steam set to busy, but I'm still getting a thing. So, it's, uh, it's been about half an hour. I'm going to, um, actually, uh, do this little part here, and then I'm going to stop it because, um, uh, I'm going to get this uploaded because it's been about half an hour, you know. Yo, squall! I was in there. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I'm giving me a messenger, you know? Yes. But you know order from heaven I said, you know? What kind of order? I don't know. Gave it to the head hunter here. You see what heaven I said wanted, you know? Explain. We were supposed to go to Timber. But the train stopped, so we had to no one trust to come here. Currently need to see you guys here. Cypher? Oh yeah, wasn't Cypher with you? I made Cypher may made me dead. I heard he was trying to get me in and then executed. Lies! <laughs> That's gotta be a lie, you know? There's no way you have to try, you know? Or an excuse for that matter. It's just so not cypher, you know? Find! Oh, well, we're gonna go give me up a cypher? Well, see you, Squall. We're gonna head off to the Galvedia and look for cypher. I like how he looks to the fusion, like, and we get it right, and he's like, yeah, attention tea party from May Lum Garden. Please assemble in the front gate. And we will do that next time, guys. Um, I might record that later tonight. I might record it tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys, you know, got a little bit of entertainment watch me fight and do the voices. I know my voices aren't perfect. <laughs> for our friend, but I, I enjoy trying to get the give personality to the characters. I'm hoping you guys enjoying it, too. This has been Final Fantasy VIII. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Have a great day, great night, great weekend, or whatever it is you're doing. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you next time. Bye!